Let's talk about how you can minimize your latency in JackTrip, okay? We wanna make sure that you can send out your audio as quickly as possible to the JackTrip studio and also receive as quickly as possible from other musicians whatever they play, right? We want you to play in sync. That's the idea of JackTrip. Um, and before we dive into that, I just wanna make sure you understand the difference between internet speed and latency, right? Round trip latency, where internet speed, uh, we typically think about uh, how, lo how quickly does a movie load, you know, how quickly can we upload a photo to Instagram? That is, that is really bandwidth, right? If we have a lot of bandwidth, say 800 megabits per second, we are able to quickly download and upload uh, data, but it's not really the latency itself. The latency is uh, simply how long, how many milliseconds does it take me to send something out to the studio in this case, and for that to come back. So even though you might have a lot of internet speed, meaning a lot of bandwidth, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have ultra low latency. So let's make sure we get you optimized uh, to get that ultra low latency, okay? Number one is the studio location, okay? We wanna make sure that the signal doesn't have to travel across the whole globe just to get to everybody. So we wanna make sure that we select a studio location that is close to wherever you and the other musicians are, right? So you can see in this menu here that we have a lot of different studio locations for you to choose from, so make sure you choose the closest one. We, in fact, recommend a maximum distance of 250 miles uh, between you and the studio and the other musicians because that usually results in really low latency, real-time feeling that actually allows you to play together, okay? Number two, we recommend that you use an external audio interface for JackTrip, which means fast digital to analog and analog to digital conversion. They're often high quality and you can just connect your headphones straight to your external audio interface. So you've selected the correct studio location, you have the right gear. Now let's look at the new studio quality slider that we've implemented in JackTrip. Right, when you go to the desktop app and you open the studio settings here, you can see this audio quality slider. So by default, this slider is turned all the way to the left on auto and that automatically tries to find the best balance between the lowest latency possible and the best audio quality, right? But let's say you experience some glitches in the audio and it doesn't sound great. You can now turn this up, meaning you have higher latency, unfortunately, but better audio quality, right? It sounds more stable. But if you want to minimize the latency, you can go down to really low values here, um, as well as experimenting with, you know, having it stay at auto to make sure that you get the audio signal fast enough. And if your audio quality sounds good, you might be able to lower it a little bit. And notice that this slider applies to everyone in the studio, right? It's the whole studio setting. If you wanna set the setting just for yourself, you can do that as well. You can go down here and click on the devices icon and you can see that it tells you the current buffer latency, but you can just unclick the use studio settings. So now this is the same slider with the only difference being it applies to your JackTrip connection only as an individual, okay? Now one really handy feature that we have implemented for you in JackTrip is this latency monitor icon here. We actually just updated our latency monitor which gives you much better information now. So let me just walk you through what's new here, okay? Whenever you hover over the latency monitor of somebody uh, in the studio, you will now see that we show you their audio interface latency, which seems to be five milliseconds here. And the time it takes the signal from their computer to go to the studio, which is four milliseconds, and then the jitter, which is fluctuation, right? So it could add up to 4.9 milliseconds on top there. Uh, and it also shows you your own network from studio connection, right? Okay, so now that the signal is in the studio and then it goes to me, that takes another 3.2 milliseconds, which is not so much. Uh, I also have network jitter, but less than they have. And my audio interface also adds about five milliseconds of latency. So when you sum up all these numbers, now that you know where all the individual latency components come from, uh, we give you the estimated total latency of 25 milliseconds here. And that is kind of like somebody would stand 28 feet away from you. So uh, a lot of useful information that allows you to troubleshoot where things go wrong maybe in the connection in case you have a lot of latency. Maybe this is a good 
uh, moment to also mention that we highly recommend that you use an Ethernet cable and not Wi-Fi for jack drop connections because it significantly lowers the latency as Wi-Fi has to be encoded, sent and decoded where the Ethernet cable is just a light speed connection from your computer to the modem. I hope this all makes sense and you have a decent idea now what you can do to minimize your latency. If you have any questions, either drop us a comment or reach out to us at support at jacktrip.org. Okay, thank you.